Hi, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing my hands, hi, I'm Erin of Planning Life with Erin, and I'm so excited and happy you decided to check out this video. And if you are returning, hey, hey, how have you been? All right, guys, we're going to be planning in the Hobonichi weeks for the week of November 27th through December 2nd, I believe. I can't believe it already. Yes, no, December 3rd, sorry. Um... So I just did a plan with me and my Hobonichi cousin and I used the holiday cheer kit from the Coffee Monster Co. Now I have options because I do have it. <clears throat> I have the mini kit for the Hobonichi Weeks. So I think I'm probably going to use mostly the kit from the Hobonichi Weeks and then I brought out some of my Christmas emoji samplers. This is the pastel one. I thought it would match very well. Um, okay, so... This is, I gotta make sure I do the correct week because no planning happened last week. Last week, Joe and I had COVID. Feeling a little bit better, hoping that my voice lasts. I've got my big giant jug of water over here. And as always, I have coffee, but I think that the water will probably be better for me. We'll see. Okay. Um, so let's get going on this plan with me i still can't believe that after all of this time joe and i have covid <laughs> so crazy to me we've gone almost four years so let me adjust this camera a little bit get you guys a little lower we went um four years almost without getting it and we don't know where we get it from the kids stayed healthy thankfully um, and today is my last day with a mask on around them, which, you know, for the most part, they kind of hang out in their rooms. They're nine and 11, um, which I guess nowadays equates to young teenagers because that's how both my kids kind of act. Um, so they hang out in their rooms, which is fine. Um, and then I cook and do all the things with my mask on. And when they're out here, I have my mask on. It's so funny because they've been, like, announcing themselves when they come out. So they'll be like, I'm coming out. And I've been singing, I'm coming out. I want the world to know. Yeah, that's my wonderful singing voice. But it's just been funny. And then I just went to go do an order at Target for a pickup. Because we were running dangerously low on mac and cheese. And, um... The song came on the radio, so I was kind of laughing. It was funny. <clears throat> I just got back from Target. I did a Target run. Well, I did a pickup. Um, I'm still, like, not full of woohoo energy. <laughs> Getting better. But um, it's been, I don't know. I've been really tired the last couple of days. So um, I went to Target. I did a pickup there. And then I decided to go over to, um, you guys, I'm not in frame, sorry. Um, where'd I go? TJ Maxx, there we go. I've been looking for Christmas sheets for my children and I can't find any. And it was funny because I was talking to my mom the other day and I had mentioned it to my mom and she said she had been looking also. And I find that funny because she found one and then I found a set. Both my kids have twin beds. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I thought it was funny because she found one <clears throat> and I found one. And I'm like, dang. I'm like, if I had bought the one that I found and you bought the one you found, because there were two different ones. Because I was like, let me guess. Did it have snowmen on it? And she's like, no, I think it was penguins. I'm like, oh, man. So, yeah. I ended up finding some gnome pillowcases so Weston already has green sheets so we'll use those and then I think I might just order Spencer some red ones from Amazon because they have the best sheets and do it that way we shall see I kind of gave up <laughs> I was like well not going anywhere else kind of running low on gas so I was like let me come home and do some more planning um, it's really strange. So again, like this is our first time having COVID and, um, I don't know. We, we just really felt like we had sinus infections. Really. It was like a really bad head cold. 
which is all good. We're both fully vaccinated and all the things. Um, but I've had pneumonia before. I've actually had pneumonia, pneumonia like six times. Um, because when I get a cold, I have asthma and I'm very prone to bronchitis and pneumonia. So, um, when I've gotten a cold, it can turn into pneumonia. I've actually spent like 12 days in the hospital when I was like mm, 17, 18. And uh, that was no fun. I don't suggest it. However, this has been strange because though this has not been the sickest I have ever been in comparison, <laughs> pneumonia was pretty bad. But um, I did notice that my recovery right now, I feel very much like when I recovered from pneumonia. So it's very strange. Ooh, I like that. So cute. Okay, I think you guys are in frame, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna pull you up a little bit. I hope you guys can still see. Um, okay, so the way that I set this up, um, I kind of just blew through it. I didn't really explain anything. So I use this as a running to-do list, which I have right next to me. I kind of keep it going and then I put it in here. Um, I use this section for any important um, things that are going on, appointments, things like that. And then this is my high and low section. And then we do, um, uh, oh my gosh, my market list and a mood tracker and habit tracker. So that is something I do want to use from this kit. I want to use these habit trackers. Okay, now, what do we got going on? Let's see. I don't know, let me see, I think I can write little on these. Yeah, we're gonna use these. And I still have two left in this, but I'd rather not. Okay, so today is Monday, we don't have anything today. Um, let's see, Friday, I have a nail appointment. I need, I need my tweezers, these are too small. All right, so Friday I have a nail appointment, at least I think I do, I'm almost positive I do. <laughs> let's see, let's write in the dates, 27, 28, 29, and then one, two, and three. Okay. A nail appointment, and then also, ooh, I'm not gonna be able to fit that in there. Mm -hmm. Can I take it off? Let's see. I also have, so we're gonna make this like a double, a double one, because there's also a dance on Friday for Weston. So let's see if we can stick that in there and put this one like that. Oh, that's cute. Okay. And then what else we got going on? <clears throat> We've got karate. We've got chess club. Weston's been really liking chess club, so it makes me happy. What else do we have going on? And then I need one for Poppy. Hey, not on the chair, lovey. Okay, and then I need one on Saturday. I kind of don't like how that looks. So, I don't I don't know if I want to add blue into this. It's the Popster. Hey, girly. I know, I have cups everywhere, Poppy. I'm sorry. Um, I'm really hoping. So, I did my Black Order, my Black Friday order with the Coffee Monster Co. And um, I'm kind of hoping that um, I ended up with the uh, I Hoard Cup sticker because that's totally me. I have a lot of cups on my desk. And since I've been sick, I have like water and coffee and tea and all the things. Okay, let's see. Um, the colors I'm gonna bring in for this, that's why I was kind of like hesitant. I know there's a little bit of blue here, but um, I'm gonna bring in Tombow 158 and Tombow 772. And these are the colors that I used in the Hobonichi weeks. <clears throat> I'm sorry, in the Hobonichi cousin. Okay, so let's do I'm gonna put this guy up here because I did do some Christmas shopping today. Got a couple of things for Spencer. Joe and I need to put in an order with Amazon tonight for Cyber Monday. Found a couple of things on there for them. So we're gonna mark this in for the Christmas shopping. And I do have this weekend banner. Mm -hmm. I have trouble. I like to have a continuous list, but I haven't been minding putting it towards the end. So I think we're gonna do that again. It's the weekend, almost, not really. <laughs> All right, and I wanna use this for, oh, I wonder, hold on. Let me see if I can pull these up because I just thought of something that might be better. If I can get this little guy up. Ooh, 
ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, let's stick these back on my hands. And let's use this one because we've got a couple things going on on Friday. And then, oh, this is so cute. I don't wanna not use it. We'll put this one down here because we do have something on Saturday. And maybe we'll replace this one. Um, or we can put it here. Apparently there's a lot going on this week. Do we have anything on Thursday? I don't think so. We'll just put this here. Because I don't know where else to put it. And I don't want to waste it. So, all right. Now let's do my high and low, which is basically just one good thing and one bad thing that's happened every day. And we'll put this for my low. And then I just do some bullets going down the side here. To mark my high and low. Last week I did not do any planning. I did some journaling but for the most part I either was taking care of Joe and cleaning the house every time he like looked out here <laughs> um, and then I got sick and I've got a new kitten that I'm taking care of so yeah good times. All right so we're gonna do food and then I don't think I need anything else but just in case I'm gonna leave it like that because I don't know oh I guess I do we need some beauty things hmm we'll mark that in pink too I've been trying to separate my list so it's not just all food even though I check out um all together at like Target at Walmart it doesn't matter where I am um but I'm trying to like kind of break it up. Oh, it was so cute how I did that, but I don't think I have enough emoji stickers this time. Um, so yeah, so I try to kind of like break it up just so I'm, um, I'm aware of how much I'm spending for each so it can help us better in the future when we're creating sinking fund envelopes for things like pets or for um, household cleaning supplies and then I can kind of track like how long it's taking to use um, with the cleaning supplies, especially if I buy them in bulk. All right, so let's start doing my market list so then I can figure out how much room I need. And I don't need too, too much, just mainly my staples. We did a small, um, A small run last Tuesday and I got a few things just to kind of hold us over I feel like I've spent so much money in food in the last couple of days I mean the last couple of weeks all right let's see I'm trying to think of some more crock pot meals that I want to make I've been finding a lot of them like on Instagram reels and then I save them but I am like totally like, I save them because I'm gonna use them and I'm gonna go back to them sometime and then I never do. I have to get better with that because some of them are really good. Like some of the, um, the crock pot menus or meals are really, really good. All right, I got ice cream on here twice. So um, I guess my family is telling me we need ice cream. <laughs> All right, and then I need did I put mac and cheese down? I need mac and cheese, which I already got. So I'm going to check that off, but I'm trying to like, um, let's see, beauty. I'm trying to just track it. <clears throat> we need shampoo, which I already got, and conditioner. I actually remembered when I got out of the shower this time, raise your hand if you are in the shower or in the bathroom and you're like, mm, we need toothpaste or, oh, we need soap or whatever it is. And then you leave the tooth and you leave the toothpaste, you leave the bathroom and you completely forget what you need. You need to write it down because that's me. I need some of my purple shampoo. Okay. And I think so far that's all I really need, although I am going to check off the Dijon in the mac and cheese since we've already done that. And let's write in my high, whoops, high and low. Okay, so I got that going on. And I will do my mood tracker. 
We'll do it here. And I need my, where did I do my inner gel? Cleta. Oh, put it back. All right. So let's do line going down here. Probably don't need it to be too long. Eh, that's probably crooked. That's okay. I am not going to stress. All right. I'm noticing Joe. Oh, okay. I wanted to make sure. So Joe went back to work today and kids went to school today. Kids have been fine, but Joe just messaged me. So I wanted to make sure he was okay. All right. So we're going to start with baseline and then we're going to go with anxious, I guess. I still don't know what order to put these in. If you've been around, you hear me say it every week. We'll do mad, tired, and then happy. Whoops, kind of ran out of space there. That's okay. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I have to actually say them out loud because I've been having some trouble remembering the day of the week. All right, so we're gonna use this wood one and the pink one. It's like a wood grain kit. And these are going to be my habit trackers. I think, hmm, let's see, if I put one here. I think I could put one, hopefully straight. I feel like nothing has gone down straight today. It's kind of strange like being back in my groove or finding my groove. I was lost without my planners last week, I have to say. And I think that that's partly why I kind of overspent a little bit on some things, but like, because I didn't have a market list, I was just kind of going by like, oh yeah, I do that. All right, let's see. Let's do, these guys are so cute. I love these little emojis. I've had these, I got these last, um, last Christmas. So let's put this one here, just to decorate this area a little bit, and then we'll get some pen to paper. <laughs> this one's cute. I think actually I'm gonna put this one over here. Super cute, and she looks very zen. Um, let me find my Tombow. Okay. All right, and market list. And this is my mood tracker. I don't know if I want to write a mood tracker. I just put a mood. I like that better. Okay. And then for my habit trackers, let's see. I was using water and self-care, and I think I'm going to stick with that. Oh, I've been very good about my water. And, you know, I think I've been okay with self-care. I've been trying to just um, not feel bad and guilty about doing nothing, <laughs> which is so hard. It's so hard, guys. Um, I did hear the other day, I was watching um, a reel, of course, on Instagram, because, you know, really, when you're sick, there ain't much to do. So I was kind of hanging out on the couch, taking a little, like, chore break, I guess you could call it. And... Um, I came across this, this reel that it was funny the way she said it. So she said, um, hold on, just want to write this in. She was asking if when you were a kid, if you weren't allowed to like play with what you wanted or like just chill out, relax, watch some TV until you got your chores done. And that was very much how it was in my house. Um, you know, and so I was like, oh yeah, yeah. You know, I was listening to this reel. And then she's like, now as an adult, do you have a hard time just sitting down and relaxing because you feel like there's always something that needs to be done? And like, man, oh man, that hit a nerve with me. I was like, oh, is that why I am the way I am? So I'm trying to be more conscious of these things. Like it's and by no means my parents' fault. My parents were on my age now 
or younger, a little bit younger, when I was growing up. So it is not, like, they're just going through life like I'm going through life and figuring it out day by day. So no blame, not to throw any blame on my parents. However, you know, I, like, kind of took a step back for a second because, in a way, I am sort of like that with my kids, um, but not in the... Maybe I am just that way. The thing is, is that like when the kids come home from school, they have homework and they need to take showers. And I know that they don't like to hear me say like, come on, take a shower. Come on, do this. Come on. I get it. I don't like to be a nag either. However, um, I'm also the type of person that like, just get it done. So then you're done for the night. So like if both kids came in and started their homework, had a snack, took a shower, they would both be all done for like long before dinner and then they could just hang out and do nothing until dinner. So I guess in a sense, it's me saying, you know, do your chores, your work, and then you have like free time. So I'm like, well, maybe I should dial that back a little bit because I don't, I don't like the fact that I have a hard time sitting down and feeling like I can, I can't just sit down and do nothing. So I think that, um, I might try something different with my kids. So if you guys have any suggestions, both kids have about an hour's worth of homework every night. Um, Weston's I think is going to get start getting more intense and more and more homework. Um, and then like, you know, I, if I'm being completely honest, I don't agree with homework. Um, I'm tired at the end of the day. Joe's tired after a long working day. The kids are tired after working in school all day. And then you send them home and they have homework to do. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. Should they read? Yes, absolutely. They should read. Um, but like this, I ready stuff. If you guys are new to the channel, go back and listen to a few of my videos. It's I ready. I don't like it. That's it in a nutshell, but I really just don't see the benefits in the I ready. But anyways, who am I? But yeah, I, in a perfect world, my kids would not have homework and we would have more opportunity to like maybe go and do something after school or, like play a game, like whatever, stuff like that. But because like we're so pressed for time, it's even hard having after like school activities. And then those are the late nights, but trying to relax a little bit on that. Okay, so my to-do list is kind of long, but let's, let's see. All right, so we need to, first and, form, form, bleh, first and foremost, I need to call... Um, on the 28th, it's my father-in-law's birthday. I want to make sure I put that on the very tip of the top. And then what else? Oh, I didn't draw mine. Mm -hmm. See, I am totally out of my green, out of my groove. So let's do this. Can I fit it? Usually I draw a little column here, I think. I think I can make it fit. Just for a little check mark. But I messed up and I forgot. But I think we can make it fit here and it not look too terrible. Oops. Yeah. Okay. That works. All right. Call dad H. So that's one of the things we need to do. My kids need to take down the Halloween and the Thanksgiving Christ like gnomes that we have on the windows, like those window decals, because they have Christmas ones that they want to put up. So I'm going to put take down gnomes, put up Christmas gnomes. Okay. And then I want to wash our sheets, like all of them and burn everything. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> wash seat sheets. Um, yeah. So what else? I need to clean the bathroom. Again, for like the 400th time. And I want to wipe down all the surfaces again. I'll probably do that today and tomorrow. Because I think Joe's all done. Like he doesn't have to wear his mask after today. And mine's after tomorrow, maybe. Or after today. I don't even know. Um, probably just like do an extra day for good luck. I need to do my market order. I need to budget and then I need to pay <clears throat> let's see oh you know what I want to do I'm gonna use this little like stencil that's on the ruler and see if I can get this to work I'm usually not very good with stencils I don't know why so let's do let's do little box ones 
for my bills. It's one, two, ooh, not very straight, but it's okay. Three, I guess I could have just used the one right underneath it, but then I didn't want the space to be that far apart. All right, you know, practice. Practice is progress, not perfection, right? Okay, so I've got to pay the mortgage, car payment, heat, and electric. Woogie, woogie, woogie. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm in a weird mood. All right, and then I want to wash the Christmas pillowcases that I just got. And order sheets for Spencer. I have an Amazon return, so actually I should have probably put this first because I'm not gonna get the sheets until I do my return. Order kids gifts. That is something we need to get done. What else? <clears throat> trying to think if there was something I feel like there was something specific that I needed to take care of oh I know Weston dance ticket he decided he was going to ask his walking buddy to go to the dance this Friday with him um as friends but I told him I said you're gonna ask her today and then like I usually see her dad when um for pickup. So I'm gonna ask him if it's okay because Weston wants to buy the ticket. Well, technically we're gonna buy the ticket, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, I need to do, I'm gonna write it down here. I need to do some filming. I wanna do my December setup because as you guys can see, we are still um, vibing for a spooky season. So we need to change that. So I'm gonna do a whole new setup for um, the whole Bonichi weeks and we'll take this apart and we'll, we will get it ready for Christmas. Um, and then I wanna do a few other trying to pace myself. I have a lot of things that I need to film and figure out. Like <clears throat> I need to do my 2024 setup for my cousin, my Han and my weeks, which I'm going to use for gratitude. But I'm trying to figure out like what I want the theme to be. And I'm in like kind of my whole Venetia cousins a no brainer. That's going to be coffee monster co theme. Um, but my Han and I think it's just going to be a mixture of things. So I don't know. Got to work on that. All right. I think, hmm, I think I covered everything for my to-do list. I do want to use some of these stickers. They're super cute. Let me get this out of the way. Whoops. I have like hair on my desk. So I wear my hair down today and then all sorts of things happen. Let's see. Kind of like, hmm. I guess, oh, you know what? This is a, actually a really good spot for this. So we'll put that there. And then let's do some of these for, like we'll fill in the blanks here. We'll do a gingerbread. We'll do that one on the weekend because maybe we'll do some baking or something, Spencer and I, who knows? Anything can happen on the weekend. I'm gonna use this cute reindeer onesie. Super duper cute. And then let me see. Christmas shopping. Oh, I should have put that one. Hmm. Maybe I could fit it. I don't normally put anything here. Oh, it kind of looks like this guy, but that's all right. Maybe we can put it in here. I feel like that's a good spot because it's kind of like a little void and I already wrote what I need to write there. So let's do it. Oh, I like how this looks, guys. So cute. All right, um, I just want to double check one thing. Let's consult with the cousin since this is my primary planner. Um, and I usually transfer things from here into here. Oh, I know. I need to check on a tracking number. <clears throat> tracking. 
asking from Joe. I'm just going to say from Joe. We ordered something through his Amazon account, which is fine. It's just that it doesn't hook up to mine. So then I'm like flying in the dark over here. Um, what else do we have? I think that's mostly everything. I want to finish my Christmas shopping. Can I? I don't know. But let's see. We'll say work on Christmas list. I feel like after I place the order today, I might have everything for like Christmas morning from Santa. Um, but then I got to figure out other things. So I don't know. I have an order. Oh, I need to check on that. I ordered some stuff for Spencer. I don't want to write down what it is. So she doesn't know. <clears throat> I ordered a few things for Spencer and I have to check on that order because last time I ordered from, it was from Peachy Babies. She really likes slime. So the last time I ordered from there, I felt so bad. This kid was like tracking her stuff and she was thinking about it and, you know, like watching it. And she was like, all right, it says I should get it on this day. And, um, that day came and went. So it took a while for it to come in. So I hopefully I ordered it early enough. It seems like it's already shipped, which that's what happened the last time. It shipped it shipped right away. But then um like it got stuck. Like it was going here, there, and everywhere. So hopefully once I check on that today, it'll be all set. <clears throat> okay. So this is a little bit shorter than my normal videos. Um I don't have too, too much to talk about today. I'm trying to keep my voice preserved because I do have a lot of things to film and I apologize if I sound like sick and weird. I, I'm sorry. Um, hopefully you all had a good Thanksgiving. If you celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope you had a beautiful day. Um, and like I say, if you um, would like to subscribe to the channel, Go ahead and do that now so you don't forget and hit that little bell notification because we're always going to be coming out with something new here on the channel, especially in the month of December. It's a jam-packed month for us. Um, so definitely hit that notification bell so you will be notified anytime we come out with something new. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up because it's really good. It helps the channel and we would really appreciate it. Okay. So like I said, I think this is it for this week. I'm really excited to be back into my planner. Like I said, I was feeling like very lost, um, especially not being in my Hobonichi cousin. I did some um, journaling, but that was about it. And really, we weren't doing anything, so that's okay. But now we're back and excited to be back. So this is this week's spread. I'm really enjoying it. I can't wait to see what it looks like all filled out. And um, until I see you again, have a beautiful week and keep planning. Bye.